so hello guys in last lecture we see how to register the qml uh, file in c++ and after that we use the header file and register uh, uh, we can use uh, using the that name dot uh, the property name so in this lecture uh, i'm talking about the qt model QT model how to write a model in C++ which is the list model uh, and after that we use that model in QML side okay and after that also in next lecture we see how to create the model inside the C++ on sorry inside the QML and use in also in the QML side so which first uh, model will be create the C++ side and after that next model we see in the QML side, so let's create uh, one model. So we are closing this project and now creating uh, another project. So let's see uh, the contact model. Okay, so contact list. Okay, so I'm just making the contact list. So what we need to do? I'm selecting the kit here. Let's see what happening here. So this is the sample project as I created. So I'm creating first the contact list. Uh, we have uh, uh, two things. Uh, first one is the photo of that person. Second one is the name of that person. And third one is the uh, contact details. Details of that person. Okay. So we need to create a three uh, property in this. Uh, Okay, so I'm just creating the contact, just like putting, so just creating the class, call it call person, okay, person, person, so I inherit that Q object, so in this, uh, what we need to do, create three property, okay, three property, property one should be the string name, okay, Second one property call it uh, the integer type, which is the number. Okay, number. And the third one property is property is call it uh, the name, contact, and image. Image also question type. Okay, so I just made it a question type uh, icon, icon. Okay, so this is uh, the three per property and also i am adding one more call it the color okay use also add color so use uh, icon color okay so let's uh, provide some exercise specifier public slot slots here and the private uh, private okay so now i'm using this generate missing properties so let's uh, do quickly so i generated all the property let's uh, put uh, this public slot uh, to public slot section okay all these slot are in this section and now these are combined to this what we need to do here we create the constructor where we put the name okay so q string should be the name and q is not integer is the number and here the q string should be the icon and here q string should be the color icon color okay so similarly what we need to do uh, okay here so i'm providing here okay so let's initialize some variable here in constructor list so what is the name name so this is give a name m underscore what the number so the number we provide here and m underscore the icon so what uh, icon we provide here and m underscore the icon color so what i provided here icon color okay so that's all guys 
So what we need to do here? Uh, nothing. Uh, it's just uh, now good. What we need to do here? Just I'm creating the second class. This is call it the model. So this is the property of that class. So now I'm creating the model. Uh, another class. This is call it the model. So here the concept model. Okay. So we in order to secure not the Q object sorry 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 there we object Q Q abstract list model okay Q abstract item list model okay item model so this is we included here okay so let's go inside and see what the property we have. This is the item model and it is uh, exported as to the this. And let's see what the other are available. Uh, let's search the item list model. Okay, abstract list model. Okay, this is the list model. So we we need to hear like flag if we made the editable model, but we are not editing anything. So let's see just uh, the read only model. Just we create the read only model, and after that, we create read and write uh, what editable model. Okay, so here we put one explicit set. explicit model. Okay, so any other thing we need to provide here. Okay. So yeah, we need to provide some of the like these uh, like that because the QFSEC model not detected automatically sometimes. So we need to manually provide this. Okay, so let's uh, apply to the C++ function. Oh, I'm deleting this. So what we need to do here? And uh, Q abstract abstract uh, list model. Okay. So I'm here assigning the parent of that. Okay, hope this will work. No, item model, I'm not using the list model. So here I'm using the item model. Now it will go on error. So what we need to have when include the queue list. So I added the queue list here because I'll show you why we are using here. So we need to provide the access is why I'm creating that uh, like include the header file. Uh, person person okay so like class person okay so now here I am like creating one queue list uh, for person okay pointer type here m person okay so this is uh, my list so what do we need to do uh, let's uh, uh, go to the side of which uh, function we need to like override uh, because uh, we are inheriting the property and some of the virtual function here so we need to like uh, implement that function so which one uh, like uh, first one is the data so what we need to do here I am copying this data so which is the provide the data okay so here I am writing override okay so now it's error gone and second one function what we need to do here the row count okay so let's i'm copying this okay so let's put it here row count and we override this override okay override it okay so now next is third one is the rule more rule counts let's search where the row counts I thought rule names, yeah, this one rule names. So these are three required uh, to create a read only model. Okay, so next lecture we'll see how to create also the editable model. So let's refactor this. Let uh, one row count. So this is and third one is the rule names. Okay. So I'm adding this. Now what we need to do? So we need to create the enum. Enum for what? I'm providing the role names. So let's see when create I enum. So uh, what uh, the enum person 
rule okay so here uh, the name rule name rule uh, equal to qt dot user sorry not dot xxs user rule plus one this is the initial uh, like starting so we provide the QT, QT rule and plus one let's see what the value of this this is the something reserved for this and now i am adding one more which is the uh, number rule okay number rule and uh, another one we added which one uh, see uh, we added i think icon rule icon rule and next one is icon color rule okay so that's how we added fourth four okay so what we need to do uh, we need to implement these all okay so what we need to do uh, are returning the value of this type so let's see uh, take this one and name is rules okay so rules we are putting uh, like name rule here and assigning the value name and rules name so here we assign uh, like uh, this one number rule okay so number rule so here we access using the number uh, rule not rule names okay so here do one more uh, icon rule icon rule uh, or here icon color rule okay so here icon color and here icon okay so these are and now i'm returning here rules okay so what i i'm doing this because uh, we are accessing the property of this model by using the name so we need to provide this overwrite the rule name so, so this is the functionality they provide to give uh, the names in your choice which name you provide and then you can access via this like in QML uh, I'll show you how to use uh, these rules okay so now row count row count we provide return uh, m person dot size okay so let's put here q1 use q1 use the parent okay so we put here the parent yeah now what we need to provide here data the data is the main if we request from the qml side then which data we need to like send to the ui okay so this this is the role of the provide the data okay so let's uh what we have like we have two rule and the index so let's see check first we check if index dot row greater than m person dot size then or index is valid not equal to valid okay then what we need to do return empty q variant okay yeah. now if all is good then what we need to do i am using the so not here i am creating the one uh, like object of that class we should call it the person so person using the person and now what we need to do uh, i have the list of that person so person now i'm accessing the row or row or the index of that value okay so index dot that row okay so this is we got here i'm assigning the value and now i'm accessed by the rule how the rule we provide in such case so here if they request the name rule so we return here person okay so the name look so let's do quickly one by one so here the what the number rule okay number rule if you have the icon rule if you have the icon color rule okay so here i'm return the color i and color okay here i am returning the icon here i am returning the number okay so the model is ready now 
and what we need to do here what is written here q variant if there is no matching matching so this is our model are ready so just uh, one more thing we need to add here insert the person okay so void uh, add person okay so add person what we need to do i'm creating the pointer of here person and we use a person person intro okay so let's uh, refactor this and implement this so what we need to do here uh, just i am doing here a uh, begin insert row okay so here first of all we need to const int uh, the index equal to uh, m person dot size and now i'm putting this insert row what will take the q model index parent basically so i don't have so we put a and then we put index index okay so what we need to do here m person dot append what we append person intro. so let's append here and here what we need to do and insert row okay so now the our model is completely perfect there is no rollback okay so now what the next thing we need to do here we need to register that model in cpp and after that you can use that model in class like previously we see how to register the ml context type like uh, context property so similar way i am doing just quickly here so i am importing the header files include contact model and now i am here adding the contact model so i'm creating one uh, contact contact model okay so now new contact model okay i thought here what we need to do anything we need to do here i don't think so i already implemented all the methods and all but what i read is one model type is an abstract class okay so uh, that's why it here item list model we need to take item list model okay so item list model item list model to take here and now gone error is gone now so what we need to new and i'm creating the pointer of that class so okay this is now i'm registering the q so i'm here include the context property qml context okay so here i'm what i'm doing uh, root so engine dot root the context and set context property so here i'm the contact contact model and here i am putting the object of that model okay so let's uh, uh, now it is done it is done here yeah. so let's use here like i am making the list view and in list view i am import one control okay so i am import uh, some layout okay and what we need to do uh, anchor dot horizontal center parent dot horizontal center okay but what we need to anchor dot fill no 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 not dot fill with uh, parent dot width and height parent dot height dot height okay so here we put the model model is uh, this one we register here the g contact model okay so let's uh, and delegate so item delegate we use and the width is parent dot width 
and uh, uh, height we are not adding so content item we add here so we add here the column layout column layout here so what we need to think here we put the label okay so label it is called the cont now name not id it is the text okay so second one here i need to add uh, one more which is called the number okay uh, uh number and third is uh, call uh, not i'm just applying the color of that text i can color okay so here i'm adding one more image so with her is a uh, 50 height is 50 source is icon okay so this is the model uh, here we are putting the width or parent dot width anchor dot horizontal center uh, parent dot horizontal center so now i did it this so what we need to do uh, after that so i think uh, we need to do to add let's see what happening because i'm not added here any of the person okay i made the add person but we are not added any person so let's see if it is working or not let's see because it's this time it is an mpt model abstract item model is not direct of contact model type of contact model Extract item. Oh, 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 oh. I also need to change. Let's see. Run. So now it is working, but uh, there you see uh, no any of item not there because we are not added any item. So it is the empty model. So let's add some person here. So add person. Okay, how do we add person that? So new person okay they have the capital because it's a person of the class so triple seven zero and this is the number and what i see the icon and then i can color h f f zero 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 and this is the person which i added okay so this is not accepted okay so i added but here we need to add this one okay so now i am added other string okay similarly let's add five four person okay uh, here i am kavir Aksh, raju and all and that made some random number here okay this is not number let's add some number this is then that made some color different different okay see the color here color code see f a black a whole black uh, okay so i think that's good next let's run and see the difference ah look 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 url not there because i'm not assigning any icon because i don't uh, have the icon so you can add icon and put it here and you can so, so you see the different different color over there and the name so this is the call it contact model you see look and you can design their own basis style in future we see how to work on the formal modeling language where we see different different create uh, modern list okay so, so that's the uh qt c plus plus model and this is only the read only model this is only the read only model. okay next lecture we'll see how to make editable model of this model we add uh, two more uh, functions over there so we can make it as a editable so you can also 
like added change the name of that model okay but in this case you cannot change the name of that person or mobile number or you can anything you cannot change but in editable model you can do so that's all in this lecture we will see in next lecture okay thank you guys